If you're trying to figure out which voltage ranges you should use for your data acquisition and what gains you should use for your amplification, you really need to look at what type of transducers you're using. So for example, when we're measuring temperature, we could be going over a relatively small temperature range or maybe a large temperature range up to 1000 degrees Celsius. The TMP36 gives us a 500 millivolt output at 0 degrees C, 1 volt at 50 degrees, and 1500 millivolts at 100 degrees C. By 500 it's out of range and by 1000 it's quite crispy. A type K thermocouple gives us a much lower voltage output going from 0 up to about 41 millivolts over that 1000 degrees Celsius range and depending on where we're trying to measure in that range down in the low temperatures or up to higher temperatures we'll choose different input ranges and gains. Looking at the TMP36 if we're covering a reasonable range then the 3.3 volt uh, input range on the Arduino directly from the TMP36 makes sense. There's no way we're ever going to get a good reading from the thermocouple without using some amplification. So now we need to figure out what sort of amplification we'd like to get. If we were only interested in the 0 to 50 degrees Celsius range and we used a gain of 100 on our amplifier with a common ground, we'd go from 0 up to 2 times 100 or about 200 millivolts. That's really not using very much of that 0 to 3.3 volt range. That'll give us poor resolution. On the other hand, if we were interested in temperatures going up quite high, up to 1000 degrees Celsius, and we use that same gain of 100 with a common ground, we'd go from 0 up to about 4100, 41 millivolts times 100 gain, so 4.1 volts, and we're out of the range that we can record with the 3.3 volt input on our Arduino. So it's important to know what temperatures you're trying to measure, what range of voltages you'll get out of your transducers. If we were looking at 0 to 500 degrees C with a gain of 100, that would work just fine. We'd get up to uh, a little over 2 volts input, We'd be making good use of the range. We're using about two-thirds of, of our range in there, so that's giving us good resolution. That's a good choice for measuring 0 to 500 degrees Celsius. If we were only interested in low temperatures, down near room temperature, 0 to 50 degrees Celsius, we might want a higher gain. Try a gain of 1,000. And if we're interested in the possibility that it might actually go negative, then we might use a pseudo ground amplifier to make our base value around 2.5 volts, somewhere in the middle of the range of voltages that we're working with. If we use that 2.5 pseudo ground and a gain of a thousand, then we'd have two millivolts times a thousand is two volts, two thousand millivolts, plus our pseudo ground of 2.5, we'd be up here. And again, we're out of range, so that wouldn't work for us we need to make the gain lower in order to fit back into the range so try a gain of about 300 that puts us in this range here 2.5 plus 600 millivolts gets us up to about 3.1 volts so that stays within our measurement range this is okay but it's still using a fairly small fraction of the total measurement range I've got available to me this 2.5 volts for the pseudo ground might not be a really good choice. I might want to have a pseudo ground down here somewhere if I can source a good, precise voltage that I can use for that reference.